Welcome to Alive with Amanda. I am here today and I am going to be jumping right into a topic that came to me, which is I have some free time on my hands and I want to blog, but what should I be blogging about? So I'll give you some hints and some tips on what you want to blog about. So a blog is really a, a really good resource to drive people and potential clients to your website. So you want to make sure that you are blogging around things that are going to capture somebody's attention and then direct them to maybe another part of your website. So a uh, first place to start is to look at your services pages. So you want to see what it is that you're telling people that you do. Do you work with anxiety, troubled teens, you know, marriages, uh, that are recovering from affairs. Look at your service pages. And uh, that's a good place for you to start and to start brainstorming ideas on what to blog about. So I'm just going to pick a really simple topic. We're going to pick anxiety. So if you're an anxiety specialist and you want people to read about you and know that you're an anxiety therapist, then you want to want make sure you have a service page about anxiety. And then you also want to be writing blog posts where you are writing really specific things that people are going to be searching for. So think of things like five ways to reduce anxiety when you're working from home. I'm just going to use five nice, simple number for this or this evening. Or after, I guess we're in the afternoon. I don't even know what time it is anymore. I'm like, uh, one of those memes that's like, I don't even know what day, time, month, year, anything. So, um, you know, five, to going back, five tips to reduce anxiety when you have a lot of work to do or five ways to reduce anxiety at the end of the night. So you want to be, be sure to include that word anxiety in there and make it really specific to something. So you want to, to make that title really searchable, something that people are looking at. If you have a Google keywords account, you may want to look up uh, some keywords that people are searching for in your area or some search terms that they're looking for to see if whatever it is that you want to write about is, you know, sort of relevant. And so then you want to make that blog post really user friendly. I, my strategy for writing a blog post is I write a paragraph, I'll write five, my five strategies and I'll give a little bit of information under each and then I'll wrap it up in a nice bow with a paragraph at the end with a call to action. Uh, sometimes the call to action is simple as like call my office, email me, or look at my services page. I'll link my blog post to the service page so then it drives them there and that's how people become clients of mine. And so you want to make sure that you're, you're putting really good high quality information out there, put photos in there, put information um, in there, make sure your, your bio is in there, a way to contact you. And so then that way people can uh, use this blog post as a, a first look into what therapy would look like with you. I want to take a moment to thank our sponsor, Therapy Notes. If you are looking for an electronic health record, I want you to check out Therapy Notes. They have really great functions. You can do your notes. They send reminders to your clients. You can do any kind of billing with credit cards or you can bill insurance company. And they also have really great customer service. So if you need help, you need somebody to, uh, you know, explain something to you or figure out something, they're really a great company to work with. So check out Therapy Notes. So going back to your blog posts, at this time, I would recommend trying to do one blog post a week. Really, the more blog posts you have, the more information that you have on your website that directly relates to what you want to rank for on Google. So if you want to rank for anxiety therapists, you better make sure you have anxiety therapists in a bunch of places on your blog post and throughout your website and that it maybe links to a page that is, you know, uh, called anxiety or something like that then you're really going to be positioning yourself in a great way to be on the first page of Google, which is really sort of that coveted spot. So if you're wondering, how do I get on the first page of Google? Take some time, blog, write, put your information out there, and please be sure to share any blog posts that you write in our group, My Private Practice Collective, and we'll be happy to share them with our viewers and our followers. Okay, everybody, happy blogging, and I will see you soon. Bye.